We told you last night that Lexington police identified the man they say vandalized seven buildings across Lexington. 37 year old Derek Nance was taken into custody yesterday and new tonight. Police say Nance had help. They say his 62 year old partner Joanne Prosser was driving the car. She was cited, but Nance was arrested. Shelby Lofton spoke with police and one of his alleged victims. Back in December, an employee at this urgent care was startled coming to work. Spray painted accusations of false positives at the healthcare building lined the walls. You do take it personally. You feel like your profession's being attacked. Then in February, Lexington TV and radio stations were targeted. But Lieutenant Clay Combs says the incident started at Lexington Police Headquarters in October. He says police tracked down a car and trace it back to Mr. Nance. Then gathered enough information to get a search warrant. Police say they found marijuana, mushrooms, and LSD at Nance's home, along with other items connecting him to the crimes. Political opinions are making comments on uh, media, making comments on handling of COVID response um, and several military type slogans. Derek Nance may look familiar to Fox 56 viewers. We did a story about his extreme diet back in 2019. Raw is just so much easier for me to digest. Nance said he ate raw meat oh. for health reasons. Police say Probably he didn't get... explain why he allegedly vandalized the businesses, but he pretty much admitted that I guess he was involved and kind of walked us through how each th everything was done. Both Blanky and Combs say this crime is more than just spray paint and manifestos. He damaged personal property, and I really don't see what, what that solved. Even though it may seem like just minor vandalism in a sense, again, if that's one of those people that maybe has, you know, gotten themselves worked up to a point where they'll do something uh, bad, we want to make sure it doesn't escalate. In Lexington, Shelby Lofton, Fox 56, 10 o'clock news. In court today, a not guilty plea was entered on behalf of Nance. Lieutenant Combs says Prosser also faces criminal mischief charges.